Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and uh, very excited to uh, do this video. Decided to test something right here. I actually had to start it over again because, uh, what do you call it? The uh, So I'm reading all the comments. So the Jawbreakers, uh, what do you call it? it uh, it's Lost Soul Indiegogo campaign. It's doing great. We're at uh, 53,401. And... Uh, just uh, scrolling down, there's a comment section. They got story, updates, um, and then uh, comments. So uh, there's a bunch of comments, we're up to 252, so I thought I'd do a video where I answer them all at once. So uh, I, was, I, uh, I actually started another video, and I thought it was gonna be easier to open them all up, and then it was like five minutes of me saying scrolling down, so I had to scrap it. So anyway, we're gonna start right here. So I'm gonna answer the questions that have uh, accumulated over the last four or five days. And then, um, <laughs> okay, warning. Some of these are pretty raw. I haven't looked at these before, and this is just going to be my first reaction. So the very first uh, comment was the lack of updates for this campaign is troubling. Of course, that's a reference to uh, Kickstarter campaigns from B. Claymore, Jamal Ego, Kwanzaa, where they go months without giving an update, or their update is just to tell you that there will be an update coming, and then it doesn't come. Uh, Jordan Dorder Swift says, this book and poster best beat my pussy up good for $70 of <laughs> shipping. Well, if you were in America, it would, you, so America, the, the, the shipping is, is contained inside the, just the regular place. If it's, if it says $25 plus shipping, if you're in America, the, the plus is zero. You, I do it basically, uh, Canada's 12, the rest of the, of the uh, world is, so. 20 uh but i promise to beat it up good jordan Yeesh. uh jennifer ray looking forward to this uh evan lords hey everyone one word on the streets is that zach's uh hard drive deleted everything and john doesn't have any backups looking like it will be early 2021 before we get our comic so that's the joke on b claymore his hard drive went down first it lost everything then it lost some things then it just lost a couple things and then yesterday he posted he's had successive hard drives fail so People asking for updates one minute after I launched it. Uh, Paul, Paul Dozier says the pages look amazing. Uh, so originally I set a 5,000 goal, but that was just like a, not really, that was just like a soft first goal. Uh, the real uh, the real nut for it was about 38,000 to pay all the expenses. And then uh, once it got to 50, then I added a, uh, a stretch goal that kind of raised the expenses, uh, uh, cards, Card. I was calling it hardcover stock. It's a card cover stock. I've really got to emphasize that. It's the harder, more durable card cover, but it's not hard like a, a hardback. Um, uh, DICK in Comics, who has a hilarious uh, parody channel on YouTube, says, I really hope the Jawbreakers ten tackle the gender pay gap and gentrification. Now, if you think that's funny, you're like, oh my gosh, comics would never do something that dumb. Oh, SJW Comics hit tackle gentrification like every other month, and the X-Men just tackled the pay gap in India. That was their big plot. So the whole point of Jawbreakers is supposed to be fun. No politics. It's for everyone. So i uh, seen some regulars there. Sarah Ramirez. Uh, hey, Zach, can you check on the logistics of whether or not it's cost-effective to ship both my autumn's items at once? You know, after you fix your broken hard drive. <laughs> so um, this is another joke about B. Claymore. Um, uh, so the if you get the perk, they're called perks on Indiegogo to go and out rewards. If you get the perk of the uh, book plus the uh, high quality print poster, uh, they'll actually come. Um, they'll be mailed as they whichever one is done first. But since a print poster is going to you know be like rolled up in a tube. They, they won't come at the same time. It'll probably just, you know. Uh, so uh, then I uh, hit the first goal within an hour, so people were talking about that. Um, let's see. Uh, Aaron Reeve ordered, can't wait to get this in hand. Great art from a top tier artist, cool action sequences, no SJW nonsense. A female character that actually looks like a woman. Who else does... What else does one need in a comic? 
and we're rapidly approaching the point where more actual customers have purchased this book than actually purchased a copy of Insert Garbage SJW comic here. So uh, right now we're at 1500 uh, but the goal is 2500 um, now, obviously, if it was a regular comic, 2500 would be quite low, but this is a graphic novel, and you're going to see when once you hit the rewards that it's a lot more than just the main story, although the main story is going to be amazing. And for a, uh, for a uh, graphic novel, especially an indie graphic novel, we're already at very, very good prices. And a couple people like um, That Umbrella Guy and Edwin Boyette, they have been doing a thing where they've been... Comparing the amount of money generated by this project to, you know, what, let's say, Iceman or Squirrel Girl uh, makes. And we're already beating stuff like that only five days in. Uh, <laughs> JM says, can the next stretch goal be a billboard of jawbreakers on Tim Doyle's way into work? Well, I, I think he works from home. So, uh, Waylon Brannigan, this is the most legit excited for a book I've been since Superman 75 back in 1992. Congrats, Zach, John, and Brett. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Dave Gobbett says, uh, do you know the size of the print? I'm getting it no matter what to show my support. As soon as I saw the main print you were displaying, I just thought, wow, this is maybe something great. So somebody was telling me that 11 by 17 is the, the traditional size for a print, which is funny because that's also the traditional size for a, a comic book page. So we'll see. It'll have to do with technical aspects. Uh, related to um, you know the the resolution on the original file, I think I think that that'll be it. Uh, thanks for getting it, uh, Gregory Finfrock, um, Zachary Cornejo. How about a stretch goal for a lenticular cover? Um, I, I'm going to keep it fairly simple. We're we're uh, trying to get Ethan Van Skyver. If we hit sixty thousand, he'll be drawing it, and it'll just be you know a regular, well drawn well drawn cover on a card cover stock. It won't be those. Like Marvel, they, Marvel uses the same paper for the interiors as the exteriors now, and that's why your fingers will make that ink rub off. Uh, scrolling down some more. Uh, people are liking the girl. The girl was originally named Adibi because she was a very minor character. People saw her. They flipped out. Some backed just for her. Uh, so I uh, went through a couple days of trying to come up with a name, and her name is now Shashi. That's X-A-X-I. Uh, scrolling down some more. <laughs> Crumbopolis Michael says, has anyone received their book yet? Just kidding. Art looks great. Thank you very much. Uh, John Lamarca says, which one of those characters is a shotgun specialist? None of them. Um, sorry. Uh, so yeah, so then we hit 20,000 with, I think, by like the nighttime, a couple hours later. Uh, Joseph Narcisse Boucher, I just pledged 50 biggins. That, that made me laugh because that was Al Bundy's favorite uh, magazine back in Married with Children. It was, it was called Biggins. Um, comic better be good. It will be. I'm extremely pleased that you decided to make one of the stretch goals be a square bound cardstock cover um, with an actual spine. I'd have pledged far less money if not for that perk. Oh, very interesting. I'm glad you said it. Also, is the black guy in the covers wheeling in spiked double-bladed knuckle dusters with blood oozing from both edges? That is gear. Absolutely. That was not in the script. It was something uh, John Malin just threw in there. I love it. Probably be his uh, signature weapon, Cuffs' his signature weapon. So, yeah, and the idea about making it cardstock and square bound is that it can stand up on a uh, uh, bookshelf. So, uh, so this is a while ago. This is back when uh, 611. Um, uh, Benjamin Peters, I'm here to make it rain shekels and dank comments. I'm honestly pretty hyped for this. I dropped 100 so I could cover both my girlfriend and myself. Wow, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to geeking out over your comments with my lovely nerd in life, Katiana. Uh, also happy to see a fellow vet and nerd pulling off a successful project. I look forward to all the friendly roasts that will gener be generated by this Buy yourself some spiffy feet burkas. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I do hope people uh, roast the hell out of it. If if it's possible, it might not be roastable. There'll probably be some stuff to roast. Um, B. Clay Less Is More <laughs> says, is anyone getting a tad bit worried about the sus suspiciously low amount of updates? Again, this is a joke about a brand new uh, campaign. 
So, uh, so I actually did some uh, tweets, and I was like, it was like one thirty. I was so excited. I was like, I'm, I'm worn out. I gotta sleep. So the, I remember reading this one from Eric D. It says, "Ain't no way Zach is sleeping tonight. That refresh button is calling to him. Can you hear it? Zach, Zach, click me." Um, honestly, I, I think I like dozed and clicked the refresh until like three in the morning. Uh, scrolling down some more. You're scrolling up. I'm scrolling up now. Uh, <laughs> I've got 30,000 in one day. Uh, the first, uh, 24 hours. Um, uh, James Mitchell says, this is like Power Man and Iron Fist joining Suicide Squad with Rick Flack, John Constantine, and Grifter. Whoa! That is a really good description of Jawbreakers. That is absolutely what it is. I like the ice cream crook. I like the ice cream truck guy. I hope he's the group's Nick Fury. That's what he is. I like that he's still wearing his superhero costume like he's this crazy dude who won't take it off, even though he's inactive as a super. Uh, Howling Mad Murdoch mixed with uh, Captain America, hoping he becomes a regular. Also glad that the local lady is going to be a member of the group. Excited uh, about this. So um, the uh, this uh, character uh, who he's describing in the, in the uh, ice cream truck, his name is uh, Kill Switch, and he's actually this character I've had the idea for. The idea is there was some kind of super soldier su uh, program, and they gave it to a whole bunch of people, um, and it only worked on one guy. And you know they would give it to like a really buff guy, a guy of average strength, guy below average, and uh, you know classic storyline and ended up killing most of the people. Uh, it made uh, ended up making the guy who's named Killswitch and made him invulnerable to everything. Except for, since he's invulnerable and he can't be damaged, he also can't do exercise. So he's a invulnerable superhero who can bench like 130 pounds. Um, and so um, he's kind of like this... Uh, so now he just basically uh, does a lot of vehicles. So if he crashes, he's fine, obviously. Um, which actually does not uh, engender a lot of faith. Because if you were in a plane and you knew the pilot wouldn't die if he crashed the plane, <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't trust him a lot. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, so yeah, it's going to cross uh, 30,000. Um, Joe Fisher says, refresh, refresh, refresh. That's odd. Yeah, I've been refreshing for four days. Um, uh, Zach beat them all. He is the Howard Rourke of comics. Howard Rourke is a character from uh, The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. Everyone goes through an Ayn Rand fan phase, don't they? I think everyone does. Uh, Nerve Clacks, please support diversity in comics and the crusade against alt-right crypto-fascists like Richard C. Meyer. Absolutely. Stick it to the man. Uh, Joseph Narcisse Boucher, every 1,000 should give us an additional page. Realism, belay that. I want a 200-page comic blast. It. So originally, when the first day was going great, I was talking to John. It's like, you know, what if we do more pages? What if we add more scenes? And um, uh, then I had to dial it back because I realized we promised this thing to be out by August. The more pages we add the more, the, the longer it's going to take. And also, it's a very intense book. It's intense. 44 pages, you might sound like, oh, that sounds really short. A lot of stuff happens. It's basically, you could base a movie off of what happens in that 44 pages. So to get out on time, to maintain the high quality, to maintain the high enthusiasm, we're going to keep it at 44. But mind you, after the Ethan Van Skyver $60,000 stretch uh goal there's a couple more and that's going to not to give away this surprise it's gonna add a lot of extra stuff to this um package thanks for this 50 david george uh this one was at thirty-five thousand. it's now at 53 um christopher gazette was uh, uh backer 1000 i thanked him on uh twitter when that happened we're now approaching uh, 1,500. Oh, boy. So Giovanni B says, how about Jawbreaker's book one as a, as a stretch goal? I'd love a copy, you boy. Hmm. 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 That might happen. Uh, scrolling down some more. We had, this is when we were hitting 40,000 a couple days ago. Uh... 
<laughs> Ethan Barabee says, not even an update to announce an update. What a shame. <laughs> uh, Ethan Barabee, new crowdfunding. Let's fund a Dropbox backup for Zach. Do not worry. I'm not B. Clay Moore. I've had a Dropbox for five years. We already got a, a folder there. John Malin's putting his stuff in there. Brett Smith's getting his stuff from there and putting the color pages in. We're good. Trust me. We're good. Uh, uh, scrolling down some. Uh, uh, Ethan Barabee says on the third panel, is that Cafe Nurchich that I see written on the boat? Uh, obviously, yeah, definitely it is. Uh, Sean, I'm 25 and I never use my money to back or donate to an online project. Your tenacity to create a healthy industry is inspiring. I will keep supporting as long as you prioritize good stories over politics. Thanks, Zach. So one of the things that's happened since I made, you know, it's crossing 53,000 and we got follow up projects and we got all this other stretch goal is I am now holding myself to the standard that I previously held pros to. Before I could say, oh, I'm on the periphery, I'm a critic, whatever. So for instance, today I, I did roast uh, tweets on Mags and Karen Shake, and then afterwards, a couple minutes, I took them down. I go, no, I can't, I can't be like that. I'm trying to be that pro. I'm trying to have other pros act like pros. I gotta act like a pro. I wanna be that guy where I'm in a meeting with someone and they're not I'm they don't see me like goofing on some guy who has rabbit turds on the ground. That's that's the that's the old me. <laughs> Scrolling down some more. Uh, Thomas O'Badlam says, over 9,000 backers by May 2nd, 100,000 plus project. Meyer Mailing Bleeding Cool's top 10 most powerful men <laughs> in comics 2018. So I was, uh, I think I was number 84 on the most powerful 100 for 2017. Uh, I'm pretty sure I will not be on that list this year because he uh, uh, got such a hue and cry about it. 9,000 backers is honestly not realistic i comparing to other indiegogos and, and kickstarters 25 about 2400 is like the real sweet spot for a huge hit so that's what i'm shooting for um scro uh, scrolling up some more uh sorry <laughs> trying to read and scroll a lot of people saying your boy uh, uh, Phil Custodio, good work. I too am looking forward to frequent updates about upcoming updates. Well, I've done updates when I've gotten new pages or had something to announce, like the 60,000 stretch goal for an exclusive Ethan Van Skyver cover. Uh, I'm scrolling down some more, or scrolling up some more, sorry. Uh, RB says, the idea of the new heroes being god level doesn't really seem to fit with the tone of the book. You should send up the millennial style heroes. The new heroes don't use their power for anything worthwhile. Just dumb celebrity uh, social media junk. Um, so that's a good idea. The, the whole thing about the the second um, the second generation being overly powered that might be going away for several reasons, mostly related to the origins of the the team and why they end up in uh, overseas uh, as uh, mercenaries. Scrolling down some more, or scrolling up some more. Uh, Mike uh, Six Frank, let's get this to fifty thousand so we can get an update. I'm starting to worry that we have been forgotten. Is the joke played out yet? I'm on the fence. <laughs> no. So um, since there was such a you know a lot of Twitter and and all kinds of stuff the first couple of days, I said I'm going to wait on the update until we hit fifty thousand and I'm announcing something. Um, so I use that to announce the sixty thousand. So um, and then like an hour later, it looks like Brian King. Uh, notice that. Um, uh, Tony Nasser, I'm not much of, much of a crowdfunding guy, but this is something I can get behind. I wish I could order more than one at a time, but at least I can go for both perks. I cannot wait to see the final project. I cannot wait to show it to you. And then nine hours ago, Dustin Elkins, Van Skyver cover, you say? I'm funding both perks now. Yeah, boy. Absolutely. Great stuff. So, um... Uh, Facio Couch, by any means necessary pledge, Emancipation Proclamation pledge, I have a dream pledge, 40 acres and a mule pledge, shut the fuck up pledge. <laughs> okay, so these are in-jokes related to Kwanzaa. These were the actual pledges on his black Kickstarter, 
And then the shut the F up is, is from one of the videos where I was showing his Twitter. And all he, he was just like for three days, he was just telling the same guy to shut the F up. And the thing is, the guy was like really nice and polite. Uh, scrolling. Okay, so here I am. I'm caught up. Uh, Brandon DeWalt says, hey, if I upgrade to the $50 pledge, will I be charged 25 or be charged 50 on top of the 25 so as far as I know, there's, I don't, actually, I don't know if there's an upgrade. I have seen some refunds. So I think some people have like undone their 25 to choose the, the 50. So um, just to show you what I was talking about earlier with the, with the girl. So whenever I, oh, I should probably do a refresh to um, see if it's gone up since I started the recording the video. And... Oh yeah, it's gone up fifty dollars, uh, uh, fifty three four fifty one. So uh, thanks to whoever what that was. So as I get the new pages, I update the the, the main uh, page on the Indiegogo. So you see, like two pages are colored. You're also going to see the uh, this is the character who was originally a DB, who's now uh, her name is uh, Shashi X A X I. She's going to be a member of the team. And uh, ooh, I still gotta I still gotta update this page. All right. So, uh, oh, actually, I'll do that right now. <laughs> Is that going to be exciting? That's not going to be exciting. I'll do that after the video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone giving to the Indiegogo, sharing news on it on Twitter, on social media, telling your friends. Uh, I get some people say, oh, I've been talking about my local comic shop. That's fantastic. Uh, we're shooting for 60000 probably by, I don't know, Monday. And then I'm going to announce the uh, next stretch goal. And uh, we've got 18 days left. Uh, there's... Um, the 70, the 80, the 90, and the 100. So there's four secret ones that are yet to be announced. Uh, you're going to like all of them. They're all they're all going to... Oh, so people just... To, I, I'm going to explain this a bunch of times because there's a lot of confusion I, and it is confusing. When we hit a stretch goal, what that means is you get more for the same price. Originally when this started, it was just going to be a floppy stapled comic. We hit like 10,000. I did a stretch goal for a square bound card cover stock. Now, the same person who was going to get a floppy for 25 is now getting a card cover stock for 25. Once we hit 60, and now it's going to be an Ethan Van Skyver exclusive cover, it's still 25. You don't have to jump up to the 50 to get those extra things. The 50 includes the high quality print. So, uh, the people for both tiers, you'll both get the card cover stock. You're both going to get the exclusive uh, Ethan Van Skyver uh, cover if we hit 60, which we should. Um, and you'll get all the other stuff. Meanwhile, you will, as the campaign gets more successful, you will get more for the same amount of money. And like I said, I kept it real uh, simple. There's just two perks. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to go probably hang out with some friends tonight and then have uh, some a lot more videos up tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.